Hi everyone, it's Vicky here with a mixed media canvas today. For today's project, I am using 13 Arts Products, which is a company from Europe. I am using uh, this 6x6 paper and I am choosing a few of uh, the pattern papers. I am going to cut them out in uh, squares. As I am cutting out, I am not measuring anything. And then I am going to create a mosaic background. 13 Arts products are available in Europe and in the United States. And uh, you will find the full list of all the supplies that I am using today with links in both uh, continents down below in the description area as well as on my blog. So I'm using a canvas today, I'm going to stick everything down and create a nice background look with all those pattern paper pieces and I'm sticking everything down by using a gel medium by 13 Arts. The canvas that I'm working on is a square canvas that is 20 by 20 centimeters or about 8 by 8 inches. So I'm using my heat gun to speed up the drying process and I'm choosing one of those uh, stencils by 13 Arts and I finally decided to use the stencil that has a nice text. So I will be using the 13 Arts uh, modeling paste. And you can see how nice and thick the texture is. So uh, I am uh, going to apply some of that paste over the stencil with my spatula. And add some uh, texture on my background. When I finish applying uh, the texture, I am going to leave the canvas aside to dry. And I am going to be working on my focal points. This is a frame by Prima and with a br dry brush I am applying a little bit of gesso all over just to prime it for taking up the color that I am going to be adding later on. I am going to use my heat gun to speed up the drying process of gesso and then I am going to apply sprays. To color my frame I decided to go with uh, this uh, pearl old gold and uh, the chalk turquoise. So I'm going to apply first my blue spray and these uh, sprays are actually water-based inks and uh, you will see that uh, the sprays do not clog and also I really love how the spray, the bottle really sprays beautifully. I am making sure that the first layer I have applied is dry and then I can go ahead and spray with my gold paint. And you will see that for this project I am keeping my palette limited to only those two colors, the chalk turquoise and the old gold. And when you are making a mixed media project it's always uh, super easy when uh, you uh, limit your palette you will find that since you have to go back again and again only to the same colors everything is going to come together easily and uh, I am going to show you a few more tips to bring everything together. To help uh, the texture of that frame pop even more, I am dipping my finger on gesso and I'm just tapping only on uh, the raised areas. I am also going to add a little bit of gesso on the inside of the frame. And I am pretty happy with how my frame looks at this stage. So I am going to go ahead and uh, use this metal key from my stash. I am going to apply gesso all over it so that I can uh, prepare it for uh, getting some paint on top. And again, with the same uh, gold spray, I am going to color my key. To enhance the color even more, I am using this paint, which is the exact same color as the spray that I had previously. So I'm applying a little bit of that. And now I'm going to go ahead and use this pattern paper pad and at the back has uh, those butterflies which I really loved so I'm using my scissors to cut them out. I'm actually going to cut two of those butterflies and I'm going to be using only the wings later on. And as you can see the butterfly is in blue but uh, it's not the exact same shade as uh, the turquoise blue that I'm using on my project. So uh, at this stage I'm going to use my spray that I've used for the frame and spray all over those uh, wings. I'm also going to apply a little bit of the gold on top 
to add some shimmer. And uh, I am pretty happy with how my uh, butterflies look at uh, this stage. So I am going to try them out and you will see that I am going to stack them one on top of the other to add even more dimension. So for now I'm going to cut out this uh, pattern paper that gives a nice wooden uh, background for my frame. I'm going to cut it out with scissors to size. And here is a tip, if you want to bring everything together, it's always nice to add some splashes on all your elements using the same color palette that you are using. So I am adding some splashes on this uh, background paper and uh, I'm using gold for that. And now I'm going to use my gel medium and stick uh, that background on my frame. You can use any type of glue to do that, but I really like doing that always with gel medium. Now this is, uh, these are stickers and um, they are by 13 arts. I have chosen one sticker that says magic is everywhere and I'm going to stick it down on my frame. The sticker is matte and it uh, blends nicely with the rest of the paper, but once I am finished by sticking different elements on top, you will see that you won't be able to tell if that was a sticker if it, or if it was actually a sentiment that I have stamped. Now I have chosen a green pattern paper from the same pattern paper collection and I am going to enhance the green by using some Distress ink. And again, to bring everything together, I am adding gold splashes. And now that I have my pattern paper ready, I'm going to use a couple of dies and cut out leaves out of it. So I will be using my Sizzix machine to cut them out. I will be using the leaves at the end as embellishment for my mixed media canvas. So now that I have all my elements ready, I am going to stick the butterfly at the center of my frame. I am using foam squares at the back to add more dimension and I am going to stack uh, one uh, wing on top of the other for uh, even more dimension. For the body of uh, the butterfly, I am going to use the key. I am going to use uh, gel medium to stick the key down, but you can use any other kind of white glue. As you can see, I am adding even more uh, gel medium on top and uh, on uh, different areas of the key as well as uh, around the frame. And this is where I am going to add some micro beads. I will be using uh, micro beads by Prima in the, the copper color. And I like to stick them down with uh, a brush. Just because I feel that with the brush I have uh, more control of how uh, many beads I apply and where. And although the gel medium looks white at the moment, it will dry totally clear and the only thing that you will be able to see are the little beads. So now I am adding a little bit of uh, this color on my craft mat. I am diluting it with water and I am going to apply that same color on my background. If you apply a little bit of uh, your palette here and there, it's actually, it actually brings everything together. You can always apply the color with spray directly, but I feel like I have more control with the brush. And you will see that once this is dry, I am going to repeat the same uh, technique with the gold.
I have added splashes with both my colors and I'm happy with how my background lo is looking so I am going to apply some white glue at the back of my frame and stick it down. And once I put the frame on top of my canvas you can see how all uh, is blending nicely just because I have used the two colors both on my canvas and on my frame. So now it's time to embellish uh, my canvas a little bit more. I'm bringing some paper flowers and uh, I have uh, three different sizes here. I always like to buy white flowers just because I can color them in any color that I want to with my sprays and uh, match perfectly the color of my canvas. However, for this project I am not going to color uh, the flowers, I decided to keep them white. All I'm doing now is creating a couple of clusters with those flowers, making sure that I mix up the sizes of the flowers for added interest and I'm just dipping the flowers in my gel medium as well as the leaves. These are the leaves that I have cut out from that pattern paper. I am going to create two clusters of flowers, one at the top and one on the bottom right corner of my canvas. At the end, when uh, the gel medium was dry, I went back and added tiny little uh, foam squares at the back of those leaves just to make sure that I keep the dimension and uh, they stick out of the canvas. And since my flowers are uh, only white, to add a little bit of interest and uh, some more detail on them, I decided to go with those uh, copper uh, micro beads that I have used on my frame as well. So I am adding a little bit of gel medium at the center of the flowers, dipping my brush on uh, those uh, micro beads and applying them on uh, top of the flowers. So this is going to add a little bit of color on the flowers and at the same time at uh, a beautiful texture. Plus it brings everything together since I am using the same elements that I have used inside the frame where the butterfly is on my canvas. So you see that I am going to apply not only on the center of the flowers but also around uh, the frame. Just a tiny bit here and there. If you are wondering where you can get the products that I am using today, I am going to add uh, links uh, to everything down below the video in the description area as well as on my blog. I am really happy with how my canvas turned out and uh, I really love the color palette, so this is going to decorate my craft room. And that was the project for today, I hope you had fun and got inspired. And if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Here are some close-up photos of my canvas today. And if you need more inspiration, here are two more canvases that I made a while back. Thank you all for watching!